Uh, Jason, <laughs> after so many years at E3, do you have a number one memory, number one geek out session? I do. It's, and it's actually, it's pretty easy for me. And okay. there's been some great moments at E3, but, um, you know, there's no reason to believe that two kids that had put out Way of the Warrior beforehand, uh, and that may have been our peak, uh, were going to make a mascot character yeah. for Sony. Right. And Andy and I just said, we're going to do this. And Universal backed us, and they were dumb to do so. <laughs> and we worked on it and worked on it and worked on it, and Sony was unaware of it for reasons that are too long to go into. But uh, they came down and looked when we went alpha, which was, I think, think probably a month or two, maybe three months before E3. And they'd never seen Crash. And coincidentally, Mario 64 had just been shown publicly for the first time in screenshots and stuff. And they had no character action game. And they realized they needed a character action game. So almost overnight, we became part of Sony's launch lineup. Oh and God. I think it was Twisted Metal got oh, yeah. kicked out of their front <laughs> primary spot. Wow. Sorry to the developers. <laughs> and they put Crash Bandicoot right in this front spot. And there's pictures of this on the internet. And across from us was this little unknown character called Mario <laughs> and Mario 64. Yeah. And this was the beginning of 3D character action gaming. And the show opened and I'm standing next to my game and people are playing it. Like a lot of people. Yeah. And that hadn't happened like that before. I'd been to trade shows, but a lot of people, lines. And this guy walks up and I'm like, he looks really familiar. And it's Miyamoto. Oh my God. And he plays for a long time. And there's pictures of Mark Cerny who was, you know, heavily involved in the Crash Bandicoot series. Um, he was our executive producer, but really involved. And Andy and Miyamoto. I didn't get in the photo. I don't oh. know how, but that moment watching the legend mm -hmm. play my game and you could see in his eyes it's fear like, this is going to be trouble Ooh, yeah. good wow. you know like this is not a crappy game because most games compared to mario games not that most games are crappy but compared to mario games mm. most games are crappy totally and it looked really good and it there they were sparse we were dense if you look at the history i think mario 64 was on the right path to character action free roaming and we were kind of halfway there and still trying to hold on to tracks. But in that moment, you could see that Miyamoto was like, wow, this is not a joke. Yeah. And sure enough, we went out, we, we outsold Mario 64. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. Wow. I, congratulations. I mean, part of that was PlayStation did better than Nintendo totally. and everything. But, yeah. you know, at that moment, Miyamoto that's, playing my game. That's absolutely amazing. Everything else pales. That's awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That was just a clip from a larger show called The Game Informer Show. You can find it on iTunes, Google Play, or GameInformer.com. We take the fun opportunities and exclusive information from Game Informer Magazine and boil it into a show that airs every Thursday with exclusive cover story information, developer interviews, a lot of fun stuff. So come love games with us.